Hey guys, just thought I'd do this right now before I get ready to get myself ready for work. Um, but I wanted to come on here and basically talk about two things. I think I mentioned one of them kind of with my um, uh, live stream I just did a little while ago. Uh, well, I talked about the trailers and more that was show, shown at uh, San Diego Comic Con. But I also wanted to talk about something else that's been making some rounds in the past couple of days. Apparently, August 16th, which is a little over 20 days from now, it seems MLP, Friendship is Magic, will be leaving Netflix. Now, maybe. Uh, the reason people say this is because I read this at Equestria Daily. People brought it up at the MLP forums. And those that have commented on the article when it was uh, shown at Equestria Daily a couple of days ago, a lot of people are worried, and they have right to, because Netflix is pretty much one of the only avenues to watch MLP. But a lot of people, including the head of Equestria Daily's uh, news articles, came out and said, yeah, you know, you do have a right to worry, but you shouldn't worry too much. You shouldn't put too much stark stock into it, because... This has happened before, and mainly you got, and mainly all it's going to take is a renewal of the contracts, and things should be fine. One person even said that um, this is just kind of protocol, not on Netflix's part, but on Hasbro's part, to kind of say, yeah, this is when the current contract ends, and when the new one may begin, stuff like that. Some people have even said that this is kind of weird, seeing as though Netflix host a couple of our well seeing as though Netflix is the exclusive home to several um, original Hasbro shows that they have on there like Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters and a few others so it would seem kind of strange for Netflix to take MLP off which is a Hasbro show now Netflix has taken other Hasbro shows off but these have been past generations like Generation 1 of Transformers, and they took off Beast Wars. I think they brought Beast Wars back, I'm not really sure, for a short time, and then it was gone again. They've also, uh, but here's the thing. You thought this, here's the thing, they could have done the same thing with Transformers Prime. They didn't do that. They haven't done it with the Beast Hunters movie. So I don't think MLP, Friend, FIM, Friendship is Magic, is in any danger of leaving. I don't think so. If it is, you know, some people have to realize that, as they said at Equestria Daily, it may not be for a long, it may not be very long. It could be gone for about a month and then it'll come back. It could be gone for about a couple of weeks, it'll come back. That's essentially what they're saying. It's, basically, it'll be taken off and then it'll probably come back. Uh, but we got to remember one other thing. Whatever cable channel we have, or what have you, we got to remember that we have other avenues. Xfinity, AT&T, whatever, have on demand. And usually most of the seasons are on there, as far as I know. Most of the seasons, as far as Xfinity goes, and I'm sure the same goes for AT&T, most of the seasons are on, those, on, uh, on the on-demand services. So we shouldn't have to worry uh, yet. We shouldn't have to worry yet, but... Again, I'm not saying that, you know, people shouldn't, you know, come out and say, oh my gosh, you know, this is not good and everything. That's your opinion. If you feel like this is something that, you know, shouldn't happen, you need to let Netflix know. You need to let Hasbro know. Petition, contact their marketing, say, look, you know, is this really happening? And if it is, can you prevent it from happening? Can you keep it on there? You just need to contact the right people and, you know, find out the truth. You know, some people are even asking, you know, people that report it, hey, do you got evidence and all that? You know, like, where do you live? Is this true? Um, do you got a source to link, you know, to the information? Some people have even said that they've checked their Netflix, you know, no matter what country they're in, and it's not said anything. And this being Netflix, you would think it would go for all channels. But it's not saying anything, I mean, all Netflix platforms across the world. 
but several Netflix platforms, from what I understand, are not saying that, only the U.S. So it could be just a, a glitch maybe in their system, and they just accidentally uh, put something there when they weren't supposed supposed to like maybe it's the wrong show who knows um but i do agree with the people that have experienced this long before i have that have dealt with this before i wouldn't put too much stock into it because even if even if the season uh, even if the show goes off for a bit doesn't mean it won't come back and you got to think of it this way they do bring up good points mlp is still a hot item it's still a hot property and Netflix is very fortunate to have it. Um, but there is the possibility that if any other that if this has, that if this does happen, and contracts at least to keep Friendship with Magic on there are not renewed, you know there's no doubt that um, Amazon Prime and Hulu will want to snatch them up as a free and go the route that Netflix did and that's basically show, showcase them for free. In fact, I think it was during uh, Prime Day recently that they did a whole season of MLP for free for Prime users. So, you know, I don't think Netflix is going to want that to happen. So, I think this is just something more of a precaution. Like, they're just saying this is the one it's supposed it's scheduled to expire and that's about it. You know, we've seen this before. Heck, I've seen it before with other shows. And they stay on. They stay on there for as long as they have to. You know, so just because it might say it doesn't mean anything's going to happen. It just says, it's just saying and indicating this is when it's scheduled to be done. Or the current run is supposed to be done. The current contract. And it's also the same time the new one will begin. So we'll just have to wait and see. And we've got to remember we have the DVDs. I'm um, out there, they're, you know, some of them I'm pretty sure are getting, going down in price. We got the DVDs. You got Amazon that sells episodes for like one ninety nine each and one ninety nine, and probably between basically 2 to maybe $5 each. And you can get a whole season for about 20 25 So it's not a big deal. You know, Hasbro's going to notice those numbers popping up when, if that happens. Same with iTunes. And again, like I said, and I can't stress this enough, you got the on-demand services through Xfinity, AT&T, Verizon, you name it, DirecTV, Dish Network, the works. So, <laughs> just, um, just thought I'd throw that out there to, for you guys to, to hear, and, you know, so you don't, so you don't hit the panic switch or anything, and, but, like I said, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's planned to happen, and I think we can all ble breathe a sigh of relief right now because the show's still on Netflix, but remember, it's not the only way we can get the show. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, one other thing I do want to bring up, and I want to bring up this real quickly. Um, I mentioned this um, on the forums, I mean, uh, on the YouTube thing, and I'll say this right now. Um, I particularly was not a fan of, well, I'll put it this way. Yakety Sax came out, uh, as a part of the surprise summer thing that Discovery Family's doing. And, yeah, a lot of people have had mixed reactions to it. But the reason I bring up Yakety Sax is, according to what Equestria Daily showed, chronologically... Yakety Sax is supposed to come after The End in Friend. The End in Friend is the episode where the synopsis is where the synopsis is basically Rainbow Dash and Rarity questioning why the friends if they can't why they are still friends if they can't find anything, you know, to do together. You know, basically why they're friends with each other if they can't find anything to do uh, together as friends. And the reason I bring that up is because Jackety Sacks, pretty much in a sense, whether people liked the episode or they didn't, kind of spoiled the outcome to the end in Friend. That's pretty much what it did. And the same because, because of the fact that if 
end in friend ends the way people would think it would or would think would think it would then why then how rainbow dash and rarity able to get along together um still in the main group you see what i'm saying in other words it's like how are these two going to work together in the in the same group in the same friendship group in the same school if they're not friends so pretty much Jackety Sacks um, spoiled the ending of the end and friend even before the end and friend aired uh, another thing I want to point out is the whole um, like I said before with the uh, animatronic uh, like I said in the panel like it's not panel but like I said in the video in the live stream uh, I particularly, you know, even though uh, I liked the song, enjoyed the song that they previewed in the work in progress animatronic for the Christmas special coming out later this year, I particularly didn't like it because pretty much it contrasts the montage second half teaser or second half trailer for the second half of season eight. You know, the way they ended the trailer for the second half of season eight kind of contrasts what you see with the with the work in progress animatronic um anic for the holiday special now like i said before some people might say well it could be its own entity if that's the truth if that's true then that's fine but i don't think so because because why would you create a holiday special and as some people would speculate and hope end season eight on a cliffhanger on a sour note and then say oh here's a christmas special doesn't make sense. And it's like I said, remember, this is My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. How many season finales have ended on a sour note? None. None for that matter. And I think we need to remember that. We need to remember that. So, I just, again, I just thought I'd come on here and let you guys get my thoughts on the whole FIM leaving Netflix deal. But also kind of let you guys know that I wasn't too particularly fond of the whole oh let's spoil the end let's spoil the outcome of the end and friend with this preview sneak peek of yakety sacks during the summer spectacular and oh let's spoil pretty much in con and basically in contrast or counter contrast let's spoil the ending of season eight with this animatronic work in progress for the holiday special in december you know, I understand it was I understand they did this to get the fans hyped up, to get them excited, to kinda, you know, thank them for coming out and all that. Especially with the like I said, the work in progress animatronic at the end. But still, you know, it's like, come on. This is you're pretty much spoiling what's to come by doing this. So I mean I'm pretty sure they expect fans to pretty much know what the outcomes are gonna be but Literally, come on. Counter contrast, if you catch my drift. I, I Here's what I would have done. I would have started the panel with the animatronic for the holiday special and ended the panel with the, uh, with the, uh, with the trailer montage for the second half of season eight. That's what I would have done. And instead of Yakety Sacks, I would have probably... And as far as Discovery Family goes, uh, instead of Yakety Sacks, I probably would have aired something like The End and Friend or Matter of Principles. So that way I don't give away, literally, even before it airs, the outcome of the episode that chronologically comes before The End and Friend. So, But again, I just thought I'd come on here and just talk about those two things real quickly. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And talk to y'all later.